Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to bringing the vision video. What if I guess today is this week's end to reset? Like always, if you guys are curious for specific items like weapons, gear, gear mods, weapon mods, whatever it is, there will be timestamps in the description below. You guys can check that out. It's going to make things a little bit easier. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this reset. So starting off first, we are stopping by the special blueprints venture, and the first item you guys want to check out is the Super 90 blueprint. This, in my opinion, is a really good shotgun with a striker build, a nomad build, predamark build, anything like that that has to do with a shotgun build, this thing fits perfectly. The one negative side to this is, it takes forever to reload, and that's why sometimes I use like the SASG or M870, because the reload speed on the shotgun is quite annoying, but if you guys don't mind that and you want to still pick this up, the blueprint is for sale. The final item you guys want to check out from him is this Omega Rifle Suppressor, and this is really good to have if you're making a Sentry build, Hunter's Faith build, any build that requires a lot of headshot damage, having a suppressor blueprint like this can be really, really useful. Up next, you guys want to stop by the Special Equipment Avenger, and the first thing you guys want to look at is this Enhanced AUG. What it comes with is 22.50% critical hit chance, 20.3k base damage, and for the talents, it does have Determined, Deadly, and Brutal. Now as you guys can see, the talents are not the best, um, usually on some machine guns you want like Responsive, Unforgiving, Deadly, um, Vicious even, that's pretty much like the god roll rolls I would say. But for this weapon, I would recommend getting rid of Brutal, go for something like Unforgiving or Responsive, and this will be a good secondary weapon on your build. The reason why I'm saying keep determined is because it's really good for solo Dark Zone, uh, solo PvE even, because it does uh, reduce your skill cooldowns by 7.50%, which, as I said, for your secondary weapon on your build, is actually pretty useful. Uh, next up, you guys want to look at this LBAC. What it comes with is 19% enemy armor damage, 21.1k base damage, and for the talents, it does have responsive, adept, and intense. Once again, I would recommend rerolling the last talent, which is intense. Go for something like unforgiving, or even deadly, or vicious, if you want a little bit more crit chance, and this will be a nice pickup. Last but not least, you guys want to look at this Reckless chest piece. What it comes with is 1,254 firearms, 9% skill haze, 6% enemy armor damage, and it also has ammo capacity. As you guys know, Reckless chest piece is not really the most popular thing in the game, but if you're making a data build, this is a chest piece a lot of people like running with, so if you don't have a good Reckless chest piece, once again, visit a special equipment vendor. The Dark Zone Gear Avenger in the base operations is next on my list. What he's actually selling is a pretty good technical backpack, and this once again is not the most popular backpack, but if you are looking for it, um, this one is actually pretty good. So what it comes with is 1,251 electronics, 8% critical hit damage, and 16% burn resistance. With this backpack, I would recommend rerolling the major attribute, go for skill power, and this will be a nice purchase. The final person you guys want to visit in the base operations is this Gear Avenger. What he's actually selling is a prototype performance mod that comes with 5.50% first aid self heal. If you are new to the game, if you're coming back, whatever the case is, and you are in need of these mods, once again, check out this person. If you guys are looking for a decent lightweight M4, you guys want to stop by the Wolf's Den Avenger. Um, this one's actually pretty good. What it comes with is 18% enemy armor damage, 21.9k base damage, and for the talents, it does have destructive, focused, and deadly. In my mind, this is more of a PvE lightweight M4 uh, for like the underground, resistance, anything like that. The one thing is, I will get rid of focused, go for something like responsive or ferocious, and this weapon will be pretty nice. Stopping by Cam Clinton, you guys want to check out the special blueprints venture. Um, the only thing I would recommend buying from him is this electronics gear mod blueprint. If you're looking for electronic health mods, electronic skill haste mods, electronic skill power mods, anything like that, this mod is really good to have on your build. As you guys know, Tactician came out, Firecrest came out, so there is a big demand for those mods, so purchasing this blueprint is very, very smart. A couple steps over, you guys want to visit the Special Equipment Avenger. Uh, the first thing you guys want to look at is this Cassidy. What it comes with is 326.50% Stagger, 164k base damage, and for the talents, it does come with Competent, Deadly, and Boomstick. If you guys are planning on making a Lone Star build with a shotgun, Double Cassidy is, is the way to go in my opinion, or if you just want to mess around with this weapon, the talents on this thing are pretty good. In my mind, get rid of Competent, go for Responsive, and this will be a very nice purchase. Um, a couple spots down, you guys want to check out this PP-19. What it comes with is 20.50% critical hit chance, 
19.1k base damage, and for the talents, it has competent, responsive, and hurried. Honestly, I would get rid of competent on this thing and go for something like unforgiving or even deadly. Hurried on the PP19 is actually really really good and it's kind of underrated in my opinion on this weapon. Um, it just, I don't know, it, it just for some machine gun it, it reloads so much quicker and you have a pretty big advantage if you're in a like 1v1 gunfight because you get to reload and have a full magazine before the person can even click his button and you know start reloading. So as I said, if you want to purchase this for a D3 FNC build or anything like that, this weapon is actually really good. Uh, once again, a couple spots down, this Marine Super 90 is pretty good. It comes with 328.50% stagger, 129k base damage, and for the talents, it has Adept, Deadly, and Responsive. As you guys can see, it already comes with the two talents you want on your shotguns, and that is Responsive and Deadly. So in my opinion, get rid of Adept, go for something like Vicious if you're using this with Striker, or something like Unforgiving will be really nice. The final item you guys want to check out is this Tenacious Mask, and this is actually pretty good. Um, a lot of people don't really use this mask anymore in this patch, but if you're making a high end slash exotic build, or if you're making a uh, one-shot sniper build, uh, anything like that, this mask is really good. So what it comes with is 1148 stamina, 3.50% critical hit chance, and it also has burn resistance. Unfortunately, the stamina is pretty low, so I'd recommend getting that a little bit higher or go into firearms. It really depends on your build. The Cavern Safe House is the next person I would recommend visiting. What he's actually selling is a pretty good refresh mask that comes with 1,251 firearms, 3.50% critical hit chance, and it also has increased kill XP. Honestly, the firearms is pretty good, and the critical hit chance is something that you always want to have on your mask in this patch, in my opinion. So I would reroll the minor attribute, go for something like damage to elites, or try getting something like burn resistance. That would really help you out in PvP. But anyways, if you guys are looking for this mask, once again, check out the Cavern Safe House. If you guys are looking for damage to elite mods, you guys want to check out the Gear Avenger at Camp Hudson. He's actually selling a 3% damage to elite and a 208 stamina mod. Now unfortunately, the damage to elite could be a little bit higher with 4%, but it is what it is. If you guys want to pick this up for your PvE builds, like your sentry builds, pretty much any build for PvE, this is something I would recommend buying 110%. Up next, we're stopping at the last Call Avenger, and what he's actually selling is a really good M700 Carbon, but what it comes with is 151% headshot damage, 135k base damage, and it also has Deadly, Ferocious, and Elevated. In my opinion, this is a 10 out of 10 pickup, because if you are making a Hunter's Faith build, you can reroll Disciplined instead of Ferocious, or even Elevated. It really depends on what you're going to be using it for. For PvE, I would keep Ferocious and reroll Elevated, but for PvP, I would reroll Ferocious and get Disciplined on this weapon. So like I said, in my opinion, this is a 10 out of 10 pickup for a Hunter's Faith build or just pretty much any sniper rifle build you are planning on making in this game. The South Pole Avenger is next on my list, and what he's actually selling are two really good mods. Um, the first one is a Damage Elite with Electronics. As you guys know, I showed you guys the one with Damage Elite and Stamina. But if you're making a little bit of a different build, if you're making a skill power build, electronics build, whatever it is, um, and you still want to use these mods, this one is available at this Venger. Also, he is selling a prototype firearms mod that does come with 156 firearms and 3,125 health. So, as I said, if you guys are curious for any of these mods, once again, check out the South Pole Venger. The final open world Venger you guys want to check out is the Grand House. And what he's actually selling is a tactical SASG 12K that does come with 331.50% stagger, 104K base damage, and it also has competent, unforgiving, and accurate. In my opinion, get rid of accurate, go for something like responsive, or even deadly, and this will be a very nice pickup. Getting straight into the dark zone, the first person you guys want to visit is the East 61st Street checkpoint. What he's actually selling is a Trirant suppressor that comes with 7.50% critical hit chance. 6% headshot damage, and 4% critical hit damage. Now I do think this is a maxed out critical hit chance suppressor. I could be wrong, but I do think this is a maxed out god roll uh, suppressor. So if you guys want to pick this up, just have it in your stash. If you don't use it at the moment, it's still something worth having in your stash for later. The East 42nd Street checkpoint is the next person we're visiting, and what he's actually selling is a prototype performance mod that is a 4% sticky damage mod. 
Now, as you guys know, with this recent global event, Classified Tactician did come out, and a lot of people are making damage mods uh, with sticky bombs and just using sticky bombs in general. So, if you are one of those people and you are in need of this mod, once again, it is available over here. One spot down, you guys want to go to the East 42nd Street checkpoint and check out this LVAC. What it comes with is 18% enemy armor damage, 21.8k base damage, and it also has competent, predatory, and self-preserved. In my mind, predatory is really really good for PvE if you're playing something like resistant or the underground and you have the directives active and one of them is pretty much where you don't get your skills for a really long time. If you do have trouble completing that and if you are struggling with that directive in the underground, having predatory is the way to go. So as I said, if you want to pick this thing up, it is located at the East 42nd Street checkpoint in the DZ. If you're looking for a stamina and critical hit chance mod, you want to check out the East 34th Street checkpoint. He's actually selling one with 262 stamina and 1% critical hit chance. So if you are in need of this mod, I would recommend buying this 100%. A couple spots down, we come to the 5th Avenue checkpoint and he's actually selling a pretty nice grip. Uh, what it comes with is 18% critical hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 2.50% stability. Now ideally for me, I would go with reload speed instead of accuracy uh, with stability and critical hit damage, but it really depends on the player. I do understand some people prefer accuracy and stability over reload speed and stability, so um, as I said, it's really dependent on you. Last but not least, we come to the West 34th Street checkpoint, and he's actually selling a pretty good performance mod that is a 5% support station healing speed. If you're making a tactician healer build, if you're making a reclaimer healer build, this is definitely a mod I would recommend using since it's going to help you um, heal your teammates and yourself a little bit faster and overall it's a really good mod to have on a healer build. But anyways, that is it for the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually kind of surprised that this vendor reset was actually really really good. Um, there was a lot of mods, a lot of weapons, some gear that was really good. All in general, um, this vendor reset was probably one of the best ones we have seen in a pretty long time. But anyways, as I said, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I'll respond to all my comments. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Travels.